All right, so what has happened with Nvidia this past couple of days? The stock is down around 10% already this week. And by the time I'm making this video, it's down another 2 point something percent. So is there something specific to Nvidia or is this to the broader semiconductor industry? Because AMD is down as well. Intel is down as well. Qualcomm is not down that much because, well, they had that great news. I made the video yesterday. If you haven't watched that, it's going to be in the top right corner. But what's happening with NVIDIA more specifically, we're going to touch on in this video. But first, a little revisit at some of the financials and, well, how well NVIDIA has been performing in the last couple of years. So as you can see right here, free cash flow has been going up significantly in the last two years. We're now at close to $8 billion in free cash flow in the last 12 months. Return on equity has gone up and now we're a bit down. But again, when you have a return on equity of close to 42%, you should be very, very comfortable. Gross profit margin has been going up as well, 65.25%. And the drawdown from its peak is now officially down just over 50%. So join the club of those huge, huge companies that are down 50% from their peak. And then for total revenue, you can see that, well, back in 2017, it went up and then it went down significantly. Now, remember what happened there, the first huge, huge crypto bull market and then the next crypto bear market. But after that, we've gone back up significantly. So point number one, negative point number one that might affect the stock price right now is maybe people think it might happen again. We had this huge crypto bull market that ended, well, not so long ago. So some might say that, well, their GPU sales might get affected by it because, well, miners might not be buying those GPUs anymore. So that's why sales will drop. That's exactly what happened back in 2018. Crypto market sales dropped, obviously, back then, as you will see in just a bit. GPU sales was obviously the gaming side of the business was very, very big and very important to the business, which is not the case today. Before we go and look at that, if you want to support this channel, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment. So a quick reminder for those that didn't know. So this goes back to Q2 in fiscal year 2021. So a nice couple of quarters. So back then the gaming segment was just a little bit smaller than the data center ones. But since then it has, well, been bigger, right? 2.2 billion data center, 1.9. It has become bigger and bigger and bigger, obviously with COVID, that's the usual thing that happened there. But right now, Q1 fiscal year 2023, data center has taken the lead again. And as I said in the last couple of videos about NVIDIA, I expect this trend to continue. Data center will continue to grow and that's how the company will be less dependent on these gaming cycles, the GPU cycles, whether it's for crypto mining or whether it's for gaming, doesn't really matter because data center will just be much, much bigger. Also the other segments since then, and that's not so long ago, right? I showed you before from 2018. Now from 2018, you can already imagine that these numbers from professional visualization auto were also a bit smaller, but they're all growing quite nicely, especially professional visualization which is Omniverse, which will be NVIDIA's AI, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Auto obviously hasn't moved that much. It's still a tiny, tiny portion of their business. But as you can see, the fears of having another crypto winter and it affecting the business very, very significantly, well, it's a different story today. And remember, with NVIDIA's Omniverse and NVIDIA's AI, they said in the last quarter in the earnings call that it will drive significant revenue in the future for the company. The company also expects higher software sales in the future, which will obviously increase margins. Now, there was also some news that came out with regards to TSMC to hike chip prices in 2023. So the prices will increase by 6%, slightly less than earlier rumors indicated. The earlier rumors indicated that it will be up to 9% starting in 2023. Now remember, this was not the first time they hiked the prices. So last year, actually, TSMC increased prices on chips made using its N7 and N5 process technology by 10%. 
while prices for the older ones, the N16 and ticker notes, grew 20%. So this might also play a part here in the fact that the price of the stock has gone down significantly, not just because of the overall market, but maybe some specific news with regards to the chip making industry. Now we also have some last thing here about AMD. I know this video is about Nvidia, but maybe some AMD holders are watching as well. And that's the fact that, well, maybe AMD has been hacked. So a report came out that well, an extortion group allegedly has more than 450 gigabytes of AMD's data. And apparently the hack is due to some of its passwords being just passwords. Now again, these are just, well, this was just a report. Remains to be seen what happens with that. Now see, the password might just not be one, two, three, four, five, six, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Obviously, AMD is on it. And again, this just shows that cybersecurity is one of those huge sectors that still needs to grow. And well, apparently a lot of companies still need to upgrade their systems. So overall, that's that for NVIDIA. There is some specific news to the industry, not really specific news to the company itself. The company itself still expects to grow quite nicely this year now also a quick note from the last earnings report and core remember they said that they're expecting to take a 500 million dollar hit in the next quarter because the china lockdowns and because of them well terminating the selling in russia and russia represents around two percent of the company's revenue so there you have it that's a quick recap of what's been happening with nvidia with amd as well and the whole semiconductor industry i've talked about amd and, and qualcomm in the last couple of videos if you haven't checked that out the videos will be in top right corner now obviously do share your thoughts down in the comments below have you been adding to nvidia have you been selling what's your game plan there and if you enjoyed this type of videos leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel maybe hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye